Hello everyone, Randy Steifer here with part two of my post-processing workflow videos. Today we're going to be talking about masks. Masks are what make Photoshop as powerful as it is because it allows you to create layers and then mask them off so that way each layer you can work on just one small part of the photo. And with this adjusted sand layer here in the middle, that's exactly what I've already done. Let's turn off the mask in the middle layer real quick and you can see I cleaned up the sand, darkened it up. Now let's say we want to work on the rest of the photo as a whole, but we want to bring that sand into the photo. So what we would do is we'd click on this top layer, come down here to the rectangle with the hole in it, and add a layer mask. That pops up. This little chain in the middle locks them together. Now let's say you make a mask and you've just totally flubbed it up and you want to get rid of it. Just click the chain, you break the chain, and you can take that mask, look, mask layer down here to the trash can and throw it away. When it asks you if it wants you to if you want to apply it before removing it, just click delete and it's gone. So let's add that mask layer back in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get the paint brush tool. You want to make sure you're on black down here, just click on it, and yep, we're on black. Click OK. And I've already selected a nice big tool as you can see. Um, when you're working in when you use this technique and you want to work on something like say the legs of the animal, you're gonna to have to take a lot more time, zoom in a lot closer, use a smaller paintbrush. And with that being said, let's get that sand up to this top layer so we can see it. We're gonna come over here and we're just gonna start painting. You're gonna see the sand come in from that middle layer as we paint. That's what makes this such a great tool to do it this way because you can see the results as you're doing it. There we go. Alright, now we brought the sand from the middle layer, from that layer, into the top layer. And that's how you do masking in Photoshop. Now, I use a plugin almost exclusively called Topaz Remask. That's how I create my layers. I think it goes a lot quicker when you have a lot of detail work to do. And I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to go up to Filter, down to Topaz Labs, and click Topaz Remask. That's going to pop up the Topaz Remask module. Now, you want to zoom in. Because the more you zoom in, the smaller the paintbrush you use, the better your mask is going to be. Now the colors. Green means it's going to be white. Red means it's going to be black in the mask. Blue is what separates the two. So, let's do his leg. We can do that fairly quickly while we talk. Now, don't stress too much about getting the mask perfect when you first make it. Because after we've adjusted the photos and done all the little tricks and stuff that I'm going to show you later, you can come back in with a paintbrush tool and work on areas of the mask that aren't quite perfect. And those are usually a lot easier to see once you've done some dr dramatic adjustments to your image. So here we are, we'll paint this off. You're probably going to want to go a little slower the first time you do this. I, uh, As I said before, this is what I use to make all my masks, so I'm starting to get pretty fast at it. So, and a little tip is I find that pulling the line down is a lot easier to do than trying to draw a line up. Now, you got areas like this where you got, you know, details intermixing where you got the hairs or the feathers I should say overlapping the leg just make sure you get all those in purple and remask does a pretty good job of figuring that out so now we're going to come over here to the fills we've got the leg masked off we're going to fill everything else in red so everything else will be black and the leg will be white now let's fit this onto the screen so you can see the magic happen click compute mask now we got a nice masked off leg. We can click OK. 
and there you go it's too small to see in the little picture over here on the side but trust me it is there and I'll prove it we'll turn off all the other layers and there's the leg and just the leg now let's flip over to this image right here and I'll show you my typical mask OCD we got the water top. I've masked off this area up here to work on separately. The water mid, which is everything in the middle around the bird, but not including the bird because he's masked off later. Then we got the sand, just like I showed you in the demo. I'll be working on the sand separately. We got the body layer for just the body of the bird. The beak right here. The legs masked off together. And then the eyeball. Not a lot I can do with the eyeball on this one, but I always put it off to work on it separately. And there you go. That is how to do masking in Photoshop. Um, thank you for joining me. Next time in part three, we're going to start covering uh, photo adjustments. Till then, have a great day, and get out there and enjoy some nature.